गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आवर नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इंटीग्रल्स आर द इंटीग्रल्स ऑफ अ फंक्शन एफ बिटवीन द लिमिट्स माइनस इन्फिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी हेयर द फंक्शन एफ इज सच दैट नो पोल्स ऑफ दिस फंक्शन लाइज ऑन द रियल लाइन बट द पोल्स लाइज इन द अपर हाफ ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन now how to evaluate these integrals for this we consider these integrals along a closed contour c which consists of two parts one part will be the semicircle <coughs> which we have shown by gamma such that z mod is equal to r in the upper half plane and the second part is this real line from minus r to plus r we try to evaluate <coughs> the integral along gamma in such a way that this integral vanishes as z mod approaches to infinity now the integral of the function f over the closed contour c that is divided into two integrals one integral is along the semicircle gamma and the second is <coughs> from the limits minus r to plus r as r approaches to infinity this integral will become zero so the integral along the closed contour c of the function f that will take the form minus infinity to infinity f of z t z then we will use cauchy residue theorem by cauchy residue theorem this integral will be is equal to 2 pi iota into the sum of the residues within c so this is the working rule how to evaluate the integrals of the type minus infinity to infinity of f of z dz <coughs> now let us see some examples based on this type so the first problem is evaluate the integral Zero to infinity of the function one upon one plus x square. We are to show that its value is pi upon two. For this, let us consider the closed contour as we already discussed, consisting of two parts. One part will be the semicircle gamma, <coughs> such that z mod is equal to r in the upper half plane, and second is the real line from minus r to plus r. so this integral over the closed contour c that can be written in the form integral from minus r to plus r of the function f of x dx plus integral over the semicircle gamma of the function f of z now let us find the poles of the function f of z function f of z is 1 upon 1 plus z square its poles are given by putting z square plus 1 is equal to 0 so we get z is equal to plus minus iota <coughs> these are the poles of this function now only z is equal to iota that lies within the closed contour c now let us find residue at z is equal to iota by definition of residues at simple pole this is given by limit z approaches to iota of z minus iota into f of z f of z is 1 upon z minus iota into z plus iota this factor z minus iota that is cancelled out so as we take limit as z approaches to iota this will become 1 upon 2 iota this is the value of the residue of the function at z is equal to iota now let us apply cauchy's residue theorem according to cauchy residue theorem integral of the function <coughs> along the closed contour c that is given by 2 pi iota into sum of the residues within c now residues within c that is 1 upon 2 iota so 2 pi iota into 1 upon 2 iota that will become pi 
now to find this integral we will have to use a theorem which states that if ab is an arc of a circle this arc is denoted by theta greater than equal to alpha less than or equal to beta this is an arc of the circle z mod is equal to r and if the limit of z into f of z as r approaches to infinity this is k then the limit of the integral of this function along this arc as r approaches to infinity that is iota into beta minus alpha into k <coughs> to use this result here we will have to find the limit of z into f of z as r approaches to infinity so let us find this limit <coughs> z into f of z f of z is 1 upon 1 plus z square so as z mod approaches to infinity that limit will be 0 so we get <coughs> the limit r approaches to infinity of integral of this function over gamma that will be iota into beta minus alpha into k now k is this value which is 0 so this part will become 0 so putting these values in the equation 1 and taking r approaches to infinity as r approaches to infinity this integral vanishes and r uh, approaching to infinity then this integral becomes minus infinity to infinity of the function <coughs> so we get the value of the integral between the limits 0 to infinity of the function 1 upon 1 plus x square that will be pi by 2 so this was the first problem based on this type let us see one more problem based on this for a greater than 0 prove that the integral of the function 1 upon x raised to the power 4 plus a raised to the power 4 between the limits 0 to infinity this is pi under root 2 divided by 4a cube to evaluate this integral let us again consider the same closed contour c as we discussed in the first problem c consists of two parts one part is a semicircle gamma which denotes the upper half of the circle z mod is equal to r and second part is the real line from minus r to plus r now let us find the poles of this function f of z poles of this function are given by putting z is to the power 4 plus a is to the power 4 is equal to 0 so from here we get z is to the power 4 is equal to minus a is to the power 4 this can further be written as e raised to the power <coughs> 2n pi iota into e raised to the power pi iota into a raised to the power 4 so from here we get the four values of z in general that can be written as z is equal to a into e raised to the power iota into 2n plus 1 into pi by 4 here n takes the four values 0 1 2 and 3 now out of these four we will have to see the poles that lies within c so out of these four only two poles lies within c which are z is equal to a into e raised to the power iota pi by 4 and second is a into e raised to the power 3 pi iota by 4 now <coughs> let us find the residues corresponding to these two simple poles in general if we have a function of the type phi upon psi then residue at z is equal to alpha that is given by limit z approaches to alpha of phi upon derivative of function psi so in general <coughs> this can be written as limit z approaches to alpha upon our function is 1 upon uh, this will become 1 upon 4z cube by having the derivative here phi z is 1 psi z is z is to the power 4 plus a is to the power 4 so its derivative will be 4z cube <coughs> now this can further be written as 
by multiplying and dividing by z this will become limit z approaches to alpha of z upon 4 into z is to the power 4 now z is to the power 4 that is uh, obtained from here which will be minus a is to the power 4 as z approaches to alpha this will become alpha so we get the value minus alpha upon 4 into a raised to the power 4. Now let us find <coughs> the value of residue corresponding to two values of alpha. The first value of alpha that is uh, a e raised to the power iota pi by 4 and second is a e raised to the power 3 pi iota by 4. So using this formula for the two values of alpha the residue at z is equal to a e raised to the power iota pi by 4 plus residue at z is equal to a e raised to the power 3 pi iota by 4. That will be given by this formula minus 1 upon 4 a raised to the power 4. The first value of alpha is this and second is a e raised to the power 3 pi iota by 4. Taking a common that will be cancelled out with 1 power of a in the denominator. So that will become after simplification minus iota upon 2a cube into under root 2. We have obtained the values of residues corresponding to two simple poles which lies within C. Now let us apply Cauchy's residue theorem. According to that theorem integral of the function over the closed contour C that is given by 2 pi iota into sum of the residues within C. Now, the integral over the closed contour C, that was the sum of two integrals, one along the semicircle gamma and second between the limits minus r to plus r. Now, <coughs> substituting the value which we obtained from here and taking r approaches to infinity, we will try to show that this integral approaches to 0. For this we will again use the same result as we discussed in the first problem. So according to that we will have to find the limit z mod approaches to infinity of the function z into f of z. z into f of z means z upon z is to the power 4 plus a is to the power 4. As z mod approaches to infinity, this will be 0. <coughs> this is the value of k, that is 0. So by that theorem, the limit of integral of the function over the semicircle gamma, that is iota into beta minus alpha into k. The value of k is 0. So this limit will become 0. Putting this value in the equation 1, we get integral of the function between the limits minus infinity to plus infinity that is given by pi under root 2 divided by 2 a cube. So the value of the integral between the limits 0 to infinity that can be obtained from here and that will become pi under root 2 divided by 4 a cube. So this is the value of the integral of the function 1 upon x raised to the power 4 plus a raised to the power 4 between the limits 0 to infinity. Now the similar problems of the type <coughs> you will do from the book and tomorrow we will discuss the next type.